Hi, my name is Jay Yosef. I teach, mentor, and coach people on public speaking so that they can get winning high stakes speeches, whether it's in a job interview setting, or a business meeting, or at a conference. Today, for the thought of the day, I'm going to talk about productivity hacks. You know, there are so many of these productivity tips that are out there. And I think most people know about these hacks. And they know what they have to do to be more productive. But the question I want to ask you is, do you think these hacks really make you productive? I'm of the opinion, they may help you in the short term. But in the long term, I don't think productivity hacks really make you that productive. So the question you might be asking is, well, then what will make you productive? To be productive, you have to offload work. If you're doing everything, there's only so much you can do that will make you productive. You reach a saturation point where your brain just can't function anymore. You know, the reason why sometimes people look at social media and get distracted is because your brain just can't focus after a while. This is almost like the way computers work, right? Previously, computers used to have a single processor. And then they found out that there's only so much you can do. You can't make that single processor that much faster. No matter what you do, you, know, you can reduce the density, you can uh, reduce power, you can do all kinds of stuff. It's just not possible to make that single processor get any more faster. So what they did, they started using multiple processors. They started offloading work. Now that's computer, but that's no different when it comes to us. You have to ask yourself, anything that you're doing, can that be done by somebody else? So your job should be that of parceling work out to other people and not get bogged down on what you have to do. Because at some point, you can be the most productive person in the world and still not be that productive. But you could be very productive if that work is done by other people who are very good at what they're doing. Now this sounds like a very simple concept. You already know this. But yet, I keep seeing all these productivity hacks out there. And the thing that nobody ever points out to is there's only so much you can do to be productive after, at the end of the day. You need to start offloading work. And that's what people don't do. They think that they have to do everything. So for example, if you don't have time to read a book, you don't need to read a book. You can go on Amazon, look at the reviews. Go on New York Times, Wall Street Journal, look at the book reviews. Go on Google. Boom. You just read a big book. You'll probably get more out of it if you take that study it than somebody who reads the entire book and spends a month. And I do that. I spend sometimes a month reading a thousand page book. And I've forgotten almost all of it. Somebody can get the same information just looking at the book reviews, Amazon reviews, and YouTube, and know much more than I can after reading the book, after reading the entire book. So you need to look for what are the different ways you can be productive. Somebody's already done all that work for you. Do you need to do it? Now, if you really wanted to read a book, then read a book. And this goes for books, movies, television shows. You know what I do most of the time? Sports. I don't watch any sports anymore. I just get all the scores. I go on ESPN.com or watch ESPN, and I get all the information about the sports. I don't need to watch any sports. Let's face it, most of the time when you watch a sport, there's not much going on. The actual action that's worth anything is less than a minute. That's it. So you have to find out how do you become productive before looking at using this hack or that hack. Those hacks don't really make you productive. You have to start saying, OK, how do I divvy up the work? That's what you should be focusing on. How do you distribute your work? 
And if you do that, you'll be the most productive person without really knowing any productivity hacks. Give this a try. Focus on this and I bet you you'll be more productive than the person who's using all kinds of productivity hacks. Thank you for watching.